Hi, Mike Kennedy. I thought we'd compare uh, the film cartridges for the Minox camera and the Minolta 16 camera. We talked quite a bit recently about the Minox B, one of the uh, line, a very popular one of the uh, Minox cameras. It was actually used by spies, uh, used by the public primarily, but it's the fact that it had close focusing and it had this chain where you could easily measure distances made it ideal for document copying and was used by it was still used by the Russians up until about 1990 uh, but this camera we're looking at now uh, which I've talked about before in a much earlier video is the Minolta 16 in, in a lot of ways it's very similar we have the push-pull uh, shutter cocking and film winding uh, unlike the Minox which has, has one F number this could go from 2.8 to 16 and shutter P speeds from B to 1 500th. Now unlike the Minox, this did not focus. It was fixed focused, but that didn't really present too much, too many problems as a consumer camera. And to try to mitigate that a little, they came up with a set of uh, filters, which I've explained before, but they had two close-up filters, a distance lens, which we talked about, and also a filter to improve some of your situations when you're photographing with black and white. So, Let's look at these two films and uh, cartridges and see how extremely simple they are, similar they are. They call these little boxes there in coffins. I don't know quite why. I guess they, maybe they look like coffins. Look at this box dated, used before July 81. So they were still making film at that time for this one. The thing about the Minolta 16s is, you know, these things just always work. They're rugged. There wasn't a lot of things to break on them. They're very resilient cameras. And if you find one of these cameras, chances are it's going to work. And they're going to be low priced because of the fact that they didn't fall apart. There's a lot of them around. Now what there isn't a lot of them around is the film, the film cartridges. Because, of course, they're plastic. And kind of thin plastic, too, because they've got to fit precisely in here. And the same way as the Minox, you can see how this design is exactly really the same. Only uh, it's been scaled and changed. But both of them had a, a take up uh, reel, the same arrangement where it could only fit on one way. You would tape any, a piece of 16 millimeter film, you could use any 16 millimeter film, cut to the appropriate length that you could develop or send out for developing. And uh, you'd have it in here, wound up and attached to this, and then you would drop it in the camera. But I just thought it was interesting to compare how similar these were. And of course, the fact that this was a consumer camera, uh, that made the film for it a lot less expensive because there was no additional cutting. Uh, with Minox film, they basically had to slip some standard film down to 9.5 millimeters. With the Minolta style, which was for consumers, uh, they just had to put 16 millimeter film in it. And they were all set. Uh, here we've got a color print film, SA-80 it says. I'm not sure exactly what they used at that time, but there were a host of black and white films uh, that were available. And they may have slipped some of their own film for this too. Uh, I'm sure probably Minolta did. Uh, it, but the fact still remained. You could put uh, uh, unsprocketed film, single perforated or double perforated film in this minor in the uh, Minolta 16 2 and uh, still uh, use it and Minolta made various models of this but this to me is the 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 classic one because it was just so rugged you know there's no electronics in it they came out with later ones with with light meters in them and uh, I've had a couple of those and they that the electronics parts didn't work. But this this kind of nothing uh, that critical in this. Of course, it does have mechanisms in it, but they're built extremely uh, sturdily. So like I say, chances are you're going to be able to find, pick one of these up very inexpensively because they didn't wear out. They're around a lot. But the problem, again, is finding the cassette. And uh, I've seen uh, the cassettes sell for more than the cameras do. Uh, the cameras, I would say, you generally can get, I've seen them around for $20, but uh, 
sometimes I've seen the ca cassettes go for more than that even. And I want to thank the person who sent me some cassettes. You know who you are. Thank you very much. And in the future, we'll be doing some uh, photography with the Minolta 16-2 uh, and 16 millimeter film. And we'll be trying out their specialized focusing uh, lenses and the uh, uh, yellow filter as well. It, it, black filters in black and white that were color adjusted the tonal uh, relationships between different components. But there you go. Minox 9.5, specially cut, and uh, Minolta 16, which could take any 16 millimeter film. There you go.